Okay, we're doing it. What's up guys? So I'm filming off of my Sony. This is like my vlogging camera and it's been much easier filming on this. I also filmed a dinner one, so I'm pretty sure the dinner one will be up first. But I wanted to get this out because I got a comment and I got likes on it for a request on what I've been like on that makeup that I wore in my Sephora video. So I figured let's do it now because that's been my go-to and I'm going to show you from beginning to end. But first off, I do my brows. So I have been using, and you guys, my nails are absolute crap. I have, oh, I think it's on the table. I'm going to put on the Glamnetic nails because I want to try them out. They sent me some and I want to see if they're worth it because I'm obsessed with my Kiss ones and they're so affordable and I'm pretty sure Glamnetic is more expensive. So we'll see. So a cosmetics pencil. I'm just going to do this at an angle because... I am <laughs> my my <laughs> my mirror is right here so all I have on right now is literally nothing I just have I just washed my face this morning and I didn't put any moisturizer or anything and then I just toned it because I usually moisturize right before my makeup and I put on my SPF and all that but I don't do that right away I like doing my brows first because I don't want to get any SPF or anything in my brow area because my skin is naturally oily. I do really like this eyebrow pencil, but you guys, my favorite brow pencil is the L'Oreal Brow Stylist. And it's hilarious because you would think, oh, I ration out the more expensive product, but I actually ration out my L'Oreal because I rarely buy it. And the only reason why is because I get pencils to try out and test out and then brands like this one's not bad, you know, but... And I use those because it's kind of like, why buy one when I already have some kind of thing. Okay, then I'm just going to carve out my brows. This is my Shape Tape from Tarte in Medium. This is actually my last concealer. And I don't think I'm going to buy a Shape Tape for a minute because I've been really enjoying the ones that I have. So I'm really happy. Like that Sephora collection was so good. And I told myself, oh, try to snag one since it's 30% off. And get like a lighter shade and I totally forgot but it's okay I, I don't I don't need any I have some like lighter shades and other ones then I go in with my glow recipe moisturizer I just do two pumps one two and just place that all over my skin and then this is when I let like my face products complexion products like really soak in and I put this on oh it's so nice it's still moisturizing even though it's like a more thin formula, so I really like it. I've been really enjoying this. The Strawberry Overnight Lip Mask, even though it's not overnight, I've been using it, and it's from Fourth Ray. So it's like the sister company of ColourPop. So, yeah, I made like a good dent in it. Look, I'm all the way down there. Even though I'm not like the biggest fan of products that you have to stick your finger in, but it's okay. The star of the show... Super Goop Glow Screen. They have a really awesome holiday set. This just gives you the most beautiful glow. This product is like a must. Like I know people love glow when they talk about the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter, which I do have, but I prefer this because it gives you a beautiful glow while you're getting um, your SPF in. So this can, it's just like, a, it's the best. You don't need like a product because that Charlotte Tilbury does not have SPF. And honestly, it is way too overpriced for what it does. Like you can literally put a liquid illuminator in like your moisturizer and add a little bit of tinted moisturizer to it or a little bit of foundation and you have the same thing. I really, it's the same thing. Okay, so now this is when I go into Tarte. Again, it doesn't matter like what concealer this, I'm just trying to like use it up because I'm almost done. Look, I'm scraping it, see? So then I just place that all over my eyes to prime them and then I've just been doing a super super easy eye look uh just usually two shades and that's it and then I'll put a wing sometimes sometimes I won't but I've been doing a half wing for a hot minute now now I don't think I've shown this product but um it's super random I've never talked about it I don't think but I got the dragon beauty and it was so funny because when I got this sent to me which was a while ago um, I was like, oh, like, I don't know, because I don't really, I don't, I don't know. They just randomly sent it to me. But yeah, I've been using this, as you can see, for my base. It's supposed to be an under eye set, I believe, but I've just been dipping and dabbing and using this to actually set my concealer. And I really like it. Instead of having to use my loose powder for underneath my eyes, I kind of just use it for on top of my eyelid instead of underneath. And then I just set it like that. 
and I like it. I don't know. It's just been like a go-to. Usually I use like an eyeshadow or something, but now I just use translucent because that's what I like. So the palette that I love is Patrick Ta, and I've been using this nonstop. I really love the shimmer shades. They're really nice. Um, so I've just been dabbing into this shade. It's just like a mauve shade, just very lightly. And then I just hit that crease. And I just blend it. Look how quick that blends right in there. Plus tools make a big difference. Whoops, right there. And then I just do the same to the other eye. And that's all I've been doing. And then sticking a lid shade. And then if I want a shimmer shade, then I've been going into this gold or the rosy pink here. Let's do the pinkish one. It's really pretty. I just do a very light little layer and it just gives you the perfect amount of sparkle that's not too much but still great for every day and i love it i really really love this palette it took a lot of strength for me not to get volume one i actually wanted volume one on the last sale but it sold out and then i got this on the last sale when and volume two came out so i was like okay so see it's just like a little pop nothing too much but you can definitely intensify them eyeliner i'll show you the two that i've been well i've been using three Okay, so the three eyeliners I've been using is the Makeup Forever one in Matte Wood. I've talked about this. It's a really nice, rich brown. And then another great brown that's probably the best for drugstore and more affordable is the new Lash Princess one. I'm not a fan of the applicator, but I honestly don't care. You just have to take your time because it's probably the best just in color and just a true rich brown that you will find in Ulta or, you know, I'm not Sephora, Target and all that, that's affordable. And this one's just in the shade brown and it's really nice. It's just the applicator is very thick, she thick. And then the other one that I, is my holy grail, I buy it all the time. It's like four bucks from Walmart, this baby right here. And it's called the Wing It from Profusion Micro Tip. So easy, what the heck? Oh, I have like, I guess my hands are a little slippery. Oh, why is it? Wait, something's wrong. Why is it? That was weird. It's never that hard to open. The wing it tip. And as you can see, it is so tiny. Oh, is it not focusing? Right there, tiny. Very, very, very tiny. I'm just going to go into this one. And it's great. It's waterproof. It lasts. Um, it's affordable. I will say I do go through this one pretty quick, but it's because I use eyeliner almost every single day. And then I just do a little half wing and that's it right there. Just fill her in and look her out. Whoops, sorry, I'm kind of like away from my mirror so I can't see it. The same concealer I used for my eyes, just take a little bit and just bring it right here and clean it up. I'm doing my other eye and I see it looks like it kind of exploded. It's so weird, like around this whole area, I see the ink, so I'm not sure what happened there. Okay, just wanted to update you. Okay. For mascara, I've just been using the Lash Princess Waterproof. I love this mascara. It is so affordable and cheap. It is truly waterproof. It is great if you are a contact lens wear. I don't have the best lashes, but it does a little something something for them, at least when I do two coats. I'm someone where I curl my lashes after I put on mascara. I know, don't be upset, but I do. And it's okay. I'm fine. I'll survive. Okay, I totally had the wrong autofocus on. I'm going to go straight into concealer. I don't wear foundation all the time. So I've been using my faux filter. You guys know that I tried this out with a little sample envelope and I want to do a fun video of here. I'll show you really quick, a little sneak peek. I thought it would be cool. Just doing a video. I finally got the Anastasia concealers of trying out all my samples that I have. So I'm trying to get like a full face. So, so far I have a concealer, I have a lipstick, I have a primer, I have a cream. So now I need another foundation and I have some more stuff. So I thought it might be cool and I might discover some stuff because this is how I discovered the concealer. And I like to go a little bit down here because I have some hyperpigmentation. And this color is great because it's basically like what my face usually is, like a, close enough to my skin tone on my face. This one's in the shade Cookie Dough. This one is a Sigma sponge, love it. You can always use code WHOOP, W-O-O-P, and you will get a discount on Sigma site-wide all year round. And then sometimes I add like a little bit of a 
brighter concealer, but I think for that video I didn't. But some days I have. But usually I just kind of go for like a more blended natural look. And it's okay if I still have like a little bit of dark circles plus like the shadowing, but it doesn't look bad in person. Then if I have any extra, I just bring it around my nose. Oh shit, I forgot to put on primer. It's okay. Some days I don't. I'll just use the e.l.f. cookies and cream. I love that one. Straight to my under eye. I've been using the Seal the, Seal the Deal from Lawless and my sponge from Amazon. I love these sponges. I just get some product and then I just push it right in there and that's it right there. Push, 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 push. I've been using the NARS bronzer in Laguna. This cream is just makeup's kiss. And with the brush, they sent this over and the brush is actually really good. And I just kind of just bring it up here, swipe it, bring it up here, and swipe it. And then this is when I kind of blend more. Swipe. I know, and I have no foundation there. Don't worry, we'll get there. Promise you. Whoops, I kind of brought it too far in. It's okay. But this one just blends so easy and it just looks so beautiful on the skin. I love it. I know I'm doing this fast, but I'm just trying to be realistic with how I do my makeup because I don't like take my time all the time. I'm just like, I want something quick, right? So I just go like this with my sponge, boop, see, sharpen it out, boop. Down here, boop, sharpen it out. Right there, right there. Then I just kind of blend this one up and then if I need blending up here and I just kind of go like that. Right there. This is very fast, very realistic of me. I love this brush. This one is the Contour Blush Brush. This is a duo fiber from Sigma. For blushes, I've been using my Patrick Ta blushes. I love the cream ones. This one is my favorite. It's called Do We Know Her? Right here. And a little goes a long way. And I just Push it right in there. I love duo fibers for creams. Just make it very easy to blend, see? So funny, I've been using this just so I mentally feel good because I'm honestly just so annoyed by the product. <laughs> like it's pretty, but just knowing that it was like half air, there's a little hint. And then it went viral and everybody wanted it. And once the contour one stick came back in stock, I'm like, nah. I'm not trying to buy air. I grab my Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Beauty Light Wand. And what shade is this? Air, Pink Gasm. And I just take this and I just kind of dab this over. And it just gives like a little nice sheen. Again, using it for mental use. It's a nice product. I just wish that it wasn't half air when I received it. And a lot of you said that that was like a big complaint from a lot of people. So then I went on to go read the reviews about the bronzer and people were like, yeah, I'm paying for air. So I was like, yeah, not even gonna buy it on sale. I just take a regular brush and I just dust over, honestly, any powder over my face very lightly. So the one I've been using is ColourPop Pretty Fresh in medium 11. And then I've been going to my Fenty Beauty in 280 a lot. This one's a good shade and I just tap here and I just do a light dusting. That's it, right there. A little bit right there. Oh, it's glam. A little bit right there. And that's it. So my favorite lip gloss, hands down, where I will wear it on its own, no lipstick required, Maybelline Lifter Gloss in Reef. Need the color, it's a milky, Shade, look, there's already pigment. I love it. Uh, I don't think this is what I was wearing in the video, but the Sephora collection number six, um, I remember I put that on. That one's really nice too, but I want to show you what I'm mainly wearing. What, well, what I was wearing every single day. So now I'm like interchanging, but look, it's such a beautiful, perfect everyday color where it just gives you just a little bit, you know, just enough, not just like clear gloss. And then just hit the bottom lashes. This, I really need to clean it. <laughs> this Laura Mercier eyelash curler is so good. I've tossed out my old ones because I'm just like, I know I'm not gonna use them because this is so good. Why do I like it? It opens so wide, like compare, it may not seem like it on camera, but I'm telling you it's much wider. I feel like the other one's just open right there. This is right here. It's like here to there. And why I like it is say that I had like fake lashes. Look how 
Look, now you can really tell. Look how high it goes. Don't count my eyeliner because that's like bringing height, but it goes really, really high. So then I get all my fake lash in there, in this case, just my natural lash, and it curls it so good. Like, look, like it's almost like it's in the middle of my eye. It You need this if you wanna curl your lashes with your fake lashes, or you have some issues. Ooh, kinda ate that a little fast. Uh, highly recommend that one, but you guys, you need this. Okay, then I just do a final spray. I'm almost done. I've been all about just finishing products, and this is just the Porefessional from Benefit. Super simple, just kind of let it dry, and I just kind of switch up my lip color, just let it kind of dry, and this is what I've been doing. Super natural, easy, everyday look. I have sometimes have been adding some liquid highlighter, um, but yeah, not like a lot. And that's it. I kind of just get the glow from the Charlotte Tilbury blush, but yeah, this has just been my go-to look. Oh, and then the last thing I do, which is like the last step for some reason, is my Brow Precise Fiber Volumizer. If you guys don't know the story on this, they discontinued this a while ago. I loved it so much because it's like the one fiber brush that I love and I feel like it fluffs up my brows so well. This one's in the shade Deep Brown. I also have Medium, but I use Deep Brown too. See how it just fluffs up my brow? Like it just looks fluffy and thick and I just really like it. And so I ended up buying like a lot of them. I'm talking about like 15 or so, maybe it wasn't less than 10. Now I'm down to four or three of them um, because I just bought one recently because <laughs> they still have them and it's okay. I like it because it's just in my brow hairs. It's not in my eyes. So in case they're kind of old, whatever, but I love the product so much. I'm like, why did you just continue it? I, I love this. It just fluffs it up so well. So yeah, this is what I've been wearing, you guys. Uh, Nothing too crazy. It's just like really simple, glowy, but still like put together. If I wanna get like a little bit more glam, then I'll kinda just get a lash. Let me just show you a random lash. This is the Miami Lights, and I'll just stick them on, and then I have like a glam look. But when I go out, I'm just usually like this. All right, guys, well, this is a look I've been wearing. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I wanted to make sure I did it, because I got the request, and I'm like, ooh, you guys want to know what I've been wearing so um yeah very simple and sometimes I eliminate the wing liner and then the routine is actually even faster but I do my eyeliner pretty fast but yeah this overall look is just very easy and my go-to I love all these products holy grails oh, I love this lip all right guys I'm gonna get going hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one Woo! I haven't said that in a while <laughs> Thank you.